him, the Brazilian in lane four. But Martin Fuchs are in yes, lane. You have to watch out for the back end of his race because he's he's an endurance bunny, so um, it's really good. Yeah, well, they're all away cleanly at the moment. Look to be like lane four, just keeping his powder dry a little bit there. That's his Akias de Santos. As you said, perhaps he's going to come late. The back end of the race will be strong for him. He's a very dynamic and powerful paddler, isn't he? And sort of, I've always felt he was almost physically more suited to the shorter distances, but seems to do so well with the pacing. And he's able to ask so much of his body and really, really push himself. Now, from this shot here, we can see four. Oh, we could just see four from the right of the pitcher was the Czech, Martin Fuchser. He seemed to get away well as well. And as, if you, as you've said, Reby, perhaps in this first half of the race, he may well set down a marker for the rest of the paddlers. You can see by the stroke rate of lanes three and four, the Cuban and the Brazilian, the Brazilian have just really settled now. Yeah, you can see Dos Santos normally has a higher stroke rate than, than the rest of the guys, which is why perhaps it looks like he's more suited to shorter distances, but he can always hold it <laughs> right to the end. So, um, and Fuchs's strokes are nice and strong and controlled. Yeah, looks good there in pitcher. Martin Fuchs, a great technician, as many of the Czech paddles were in the past. Of course, Martin D Doctor, way back in the day, was one of the finest technicians. And it is a really technical event, C1, isn't it? Not only are you trying to stay in the middle of your lane and try and balance this boat, but you've got that long stroke with a big separation in between them as well. And you've got to get that as close to the central point as you can to not lose any energy by going left or right. Yeah, and of course, sometimes when, when there's a side wind, um, it can really affect the canoe's um, races, depending on which side it comes from. But luckily, it looks like it's pretty straight today, so hopefully there won't be any disadvantages to anyone. Yeah, that's often the case. Sometimes that happens at Zeged, which we, you will know well. You know, it does get yes. windy, and if it's <laughs> from one side, then the, the, the canoe boat paddlers struggle. But no struggle here, no struggle for folks. It goes through in around about 151, but they're... They're close to him, the Cuban now, just about a second and a half. So he's not too far behind there. Jose Cordova, Ezequias dos Santos, well, never discount him. He's got a bit of work to do at the moment, but there's still a long way to go yet. And this is a really important part and phase of the race, not to let things drop too much. Yeah, this is, this is where the race is decided, I would say, in the 1,000. This is where you're tired, but you need to hold on and also need to start thinking about picking up the pace at the end. Yeah, that's right. Can't save everything for the last 200 metres, can you? Because everybody does that anyway. Yeah, but exactly. Now, this is really interesting, isn't it? That Martin Fuchser has taken this by the scruff of the neck. And he is saying, look, I'm confident here. I think I can get out. My training's good enough. I'm fit enough. I've got the technique to hold on. Now it's up to the others to really push him and put him, put him under pressure. Yeah, and I think he'll from the crowd, he, he's going to get that little bit extra at the end. So, so maybe he knows that and he knows, to, he knows he can go a bit harder because he'll get that at the end. That's a good point, of course, on home water, isn't he? The pole, we need to watch for Viktor Glasnov over the, at the top of your pitcher. The Polish paddle is going well at the moment. He's trying to put Fuxa under pressure. Nothing really from the Brazilian Ezequias de Santos at the moment. Martin Fuxa really has a commanding lead. And he's now into the Red Boys, and he'll know he's got the support of the crowd. He's got the support of the coach, as you can see, cycling alongside him. Really, this is his to throw away, but he's got clear water over the other paddlers. Only the paddler next to him, Kathleen Chirilla, who's been in great form taking the bronze medal in the 500-meter event, trying to put him under pressure. But there's no way that Fuxa is going to give it up from there. Indeed, he takes the win, followed by the Romanian, and look to be like the endurance athlete that you said, Adolf. That's it, and he certainly did there, just ahead, just a couple of tenths ahead of Viktor Glasnov, who missed out on the medals. That's interesting. So 3.47 is a quick time there for these, these paddlers. That's very impressive. And, um, you know, 